Hello Cancers, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of February 16th to the 22nd. Okay, so I believe it was last week that um, you had a very nice, abundant, and expansive energy uh, coming in. However, this is dwindling this week, okay? So it's a time for you to narrow down projects, narrow down friendships, narrow down potential prospects in love and interpersonal relationships as well, okay? So um, this is definitely a deciding week. And the way the cards are laid out in that um, you have a lot of possibilities and I feel that you're level-headed enough to know how you want to proceed in you know your work, your romance department, and also your... Um, with your projects to any type of hobbies or any type of project that needs to be implemented so this is definitely a week for you to decide and stick to them um, you have a lot of good cards here so with the world and the wheel of fortune so um, I think based on last week the options that you come across this week um, you might not be entirely happy with them, but just know that anything you pick will have a very good outcome. You have the chariot card, which is, you know, your card, where things are actually picking up pace. You're dealing with a lot of success. You're dealing with a lot of abundance, a lot of choices. And with the chariot card next to the Wheel of Fortune, things are definitely looking up for you. And it's important for you this week to take initiative and especially to pick among the choices to know what you want to proceed forward with and I feel that the energy is here and it's very conducive to you in making the right choice so the energy is here don't take too long take this week for you to decide okay because it is just very important for you to act on this because the opportunity um, might pass you by. The energy that I see is very swift, okay? And it's very rare for these two cards to be um, in the upright position and it, it's just so close to your card. So make sure you channel in a little bit of passion and a little bit of drive and energy in order to get the momentum going. Pick something and stick with it to the end. Um, what I see is, you know, this is, um, decisions need to come by Tuesdays and Wednesdays, okay? So start making your decisions and basically imagine how you want things to be and everything will fall into place. Um, for those of you who might have had um, family problems in the past, I see that creeping up um, on Thursday. And um, I, I just feel that your your home base, either your home right now or the home of your parents, might be they might be dealing with some kind of issues in which there are troubles or some type of problems regarding the structure of the home, and um, they might rely upon you to you know come up with a plan to help them fix it. Um, so. In that way, decisions have to be made as well, and try to make the decisions by this week, because whatever you pick will actually play out really well. So, you know, if you want to help them in that department, please do so. Um, for those of you who have no longer, you know, lived at home and have been on your own, and you have your own family that you're taking care of, or you're living alone, but, you know, you have your own place that you're taking care of, I do see some changes around the home. It might be, you know, um, furnishing. Or it might be situations in which um, you're buying like uh, trinkets for the home, like uh, decorative elements to put around your home. Um, keep in mind that if it's not essential, you don't really need it. You you might just want nice things, okay? But um, just try to be a minimalist this week because you actually don't really need it because um, I feel that your home is already pretty well stocked, okay? So just save your money I would say save your money for something you really need rather than splurging on things just for decorative purposes because you know they don't really have um, much of a value rather other than you know that their decorations basically okay um, let's see so towards the end of the week um, for those of you who are single and dating, I do see, you know, a lot of potential prospects coming in. This is coming in, you know, pretty strongly around Friday even. So if you're not in the process of decorating your home, you're actually going to run up against a lot of potential prospects in your romantic relationships. Um, 
if there is a an a fire sign or another cancer in your mist definitely go for them so I feel that the the water uh, sorry the fire sign might be a little younger than you but um they really admire you this person really admires you and um you know they're in the upright position so at least they're honest um I see a lot of um it might not be conducive for longevity. I don't feel that it, it's, it's for that, but, you know, it'll be a fun relationship. For those of you who are dating, um, I see this weekend, it, it's it's turning out well. Um, you're, you actually might encounter these people in which, you know, they're very expressive, they're very open about their feelings and about their aspirations, and they really admire you. They're looking up to you, so, you know, this is great abundance energy. Um, don't overtax yourself, don't take on too much, and I see like a little bit of dwindling in the um, emotional and physical department, you know, towards um, Sunday as well. So don't overexert yourself, don't drink too much this weekend. Try to um, enjoy the little things in life, like good conversation with people, okay, because these people are very well-meaning, especially if they're fire signs, so Taurus, uh, I'm sorry, Sagittarius, Aries, and um, Leos, okay, so they're coming out really nicely placed within this spread, but um, try not to overdo drinking, it's going to, you pay for it next Monday, so just be careful about that, alright, um, I hope you have a wonderful week, the cards are looking pretty good, so um, please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next week, have a good weekend.